So my name is Erica Tapper and I'm with the Humane Society at Flower Mound. And today we're going to learn about a dog who at first um, was not safe and then he came to uh, be safe. Um, the name of the book is Buddy Unchained. Um, and has anyone ever seen a pet dog? Good. Anyone ever had a pet dog or known someone who had a pet dog? Well, good. So you guys already uh, know a little bit about this. So before we get started, uh, let's look at the front. Uh, who do you think this is on the front of the book? Yes. A dog. Buddy. You think it's Buddy. Okay. Um, and does Buddy look happy here? Does he look sad? Happy. He looks happy? He looks happy that something happened wrong and now he's got a little Okay. What does everyone else say? I second that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is Buddy wearing? A leash. A collar. Okay. But yet the name is Buddy Unchained. Mm -hmm. So what do you think that means? Yes. He gets off his collar. He gets off his collar or his leash. Yep. Yeah. Okay. He runs away. He runs away. Okay. Does anyone else think he runs away? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, I was just agreeing. Okay. Okay. So do you think Buddy will be chained up in this story or not chained up? Chained up for half of it, not chained for the other half. Okay. I think he'll be chained up and then somehow something's going to happen and he's going to get off the chain. Okay. And Hormuz? Yeah, half of it. Okay. All right, well, let's get into the story. Not long ago, I was chosen by a family to live with them. I have food in my bowl. I have clean water to drink. Sometimes I get a treat. They take me for walks. So do you guys think at this point he's safe or unsafe? Would he be safe? Yes, sir? Could a dog look happy or sad? Or could it really be the opposite? It could. Could. Let's, let's read and see. They play with me. They teach me to know what they want from me. Here they're telling him, sit and stay. Do you think Buddy likes when his people teach him how they want him to act? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sam? It might be a little bit confusing because they've got a darker tone. Oh, okay. And there's, it looks like they're saying no. So what like, makes it look like they're saying no? Because their fingers pointing. Okay. And they're doing hands motions and probably doing it a bit louder. Okay. So it might be a bit confusing. Okay. But I used to live in a different place. I slept alone in the garage. Every day I was put outside. My collar was clipped to a chain. When it rained, my fur was wet clear through. Yes, sir. He probably feels bad because nobody's, nobody's actually being nice to him and nobody cares about him. Mm -hmm. He has to sleep alone on hard floors when he could be in a really cozy bed. Mm -hmm. And he's got wet fur and he's trying to come in, but he's on the front lines. Okay. I think now, the beginning, he actually liked to think of in the in that house because he used to be like this. And he probably likes being not wet, having a bed, food, water, all of that. Okay. Inform us? Now, it's like. He like doesn't really have an owner that doesn't like kick him up in and he's chained up and doesn't get to go in the and he doesn't get to do much. How do you think he feels? Yeah. I think he feels sad, maybe confused. Okay. Once in a while kids threw things at me. I couldn't protect myself. I don't know why they did that. When I got twisted in the chain, I couldn't sit down or move until someone from the house came and untangled it. So 
how do you think he felt when the kids threw things at him? I think he felt really bad, and I don't think the kids should have done that. Why? Because he's a dog and he didn't do anything bad to them. Okay. Sam? I think he feels maybe sad and angry. Okay. And because the kids get nothing out of that, they're just being mean. Okay. Next time it's dumb for them to do that. Okay. He's just like wondering why they're doing that because he didn't do anything to them. Right. Okay. Many days, those people forgot to change the water in my dish. It tasted bad. I was so thirsty, I drank it anyway. Sometimes they forgot to feed me. I was hungry most of the time. When it got very cold, my paws hurt. One day, I was so cold that I lay down and I couldn't get up. Yes? I think the owner should have kept him because he not do anything for him. A person I didn't know came and took off my chain. He took me away from that place. Who do you think this person is? Who does that look like? Yes, sir. Who was this in like an animal service? An animal service worker. Anyone think something else? Yes, Sam. The shelter. The shelter. Okay, and what else? Maybe like a neighbor that saw him. Okay. He brought me to a place where they took care of me. A person carefully clipped my claws. They were so long I could hardly walk. Where do you think he is now? Shelter. 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 Okay. When I was feeling all right again, they put me into a place with food and water. The people I live with now came to visit. They chose me to be part of their family for always. They call me Buddy. How do you think he feels now that he has a name? Happy. Happy? Sam? Uh, included. Included? Okay. Hormus? Glad. Did anyone notice at the beginning of the story, they didn't mention his name? And then at the end of the story, he has a name. So what do you think that means? Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good dog, buddy, they say to me every day. They give me pats and hugs. I have friends to play with. I have my real home. Now I have everything. So how do you think he feels now? Happy and joyful. Mm -hmm. I think he feels happier than most dogs because he used to be a very bad person and now he's in a very good place. So that makes it even happier for him. Okay. Do you think he remembers how he felt at the beginning? Do you think dogs remember if they've been in a bad situation? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You think so? Mm -hmm. Okay. Would our agree? dog Layla remember the hurricane, do you think? Um, I don't know. Since we can't talk to dogs, we don't know. Um, but it's interesting to think about. Yes? I think he probably did because it was so bad for him. But if it was maybe something really happy or something not that important, he probably wouldn't remember it. Okay. So because it was such a uh, a hard life for him, Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, when animals, like in general, when they remember stuff, it's it's not it's not like the physical picture of what they remember, but the emotion of how okay. they felt when that thing happened. Okay. So when they feel that same thing again, they know how to react, sort of. Okay. Some more instinct. Yeah. Okay. Respect them for who they are okay. and their experiences. Okay, and Sam? 
because some people are not nice to dogs and they, and they actually think about the dog and think about their life and not just nothing and that dogs need to have a happy life and feel good. Because dogs are living things like humans and they should have a life, a nice life like humans do. Okay. Yes. Because they love animals, so if you see an animal that not being treated well, they run off. Their person seems to help it. Okay. They feel like they need to help the animal. Okay. Sam? Um, dogs are nice since Bogey was left outside in the rain, do you think he feels so much better now and he feels so, so well treated? How do you think he feels? He feels like he has a family now. And how do you think that makes Bogey feel? Great. He looks like he feels pretty great, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well thank you guys very much. Um, being part of my class. Thank you. <laughs>